Hey guys, welcome to another lunch review. Today I'm gonna try this pepperoni pizza puff. And this one's by Il Taco, the original pepperoni pizza puff. Looks pretty good. It's six ounces, 170 grams. And it is, uh, like I said, the pepperoni flavored. It's hand wrapped flour tortilla with pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, spices, and home style pizza sauce. Uh, 14 grams of protein made with real cheese. We bought these at Jungle Gems International Market, which is in Cincinnati. It was $1.89. We have seen other versions of this puff, um, different flavors at a um, uh, GFS store, Gordon's Food Services. We have seen the uh, boxes of these as well. So you can get them other places. It's just that's the only place I've seen them around here. Um, it is 460 calories if you eat the whole puff. And there's your other information. Uh, cooking directions, let me, hold on, make noise. Sorry. Okay, so you can put this in the oven if you want. Of course, we're not going to do that, but we can, you can put it in the oven. Um, you can deep fry it, which would be very interesting, but I'm definitely not going to deep fry it. So we're going to microwave it. So we're going to remove all the packaging using a microwave safe dish. Cook in the crisping sleeve provided on high for three to four minutes uh, if frozen. Use caution when opening. The package will release hot steam and the puff will be hot to touch. So, um, yeah, these are frozen anyway. I don't know why it says from. I guess if you thaw it out, it'd be a little bit less time. So I have me a plate here. Ooh, I like it that it comes with the information actually on the, the whole sleeve too. So this is the puff. And we're going to put it in this sleeve. And don't flatten it or anything. Just put it, just put it right in there. It says this side up. That way you can... Uh, that side up. So you can... Uh, pull this little tab off when it's done. So I'm gonna get this in the microwave for probably three and a half minutes. I won't go the whole four because it might get uh, hard, but I'll do it three and a half, I'll be back. All right, so here it is out of the microwave. You can see it exploded out of the end of it, which is kind of gross. Um, now that I say that out loud, it, it sounded awful. Um, so anyway, uh, for those of you, the first time I did one of these, it did this too, but I kind of pressed down on this like crisping tray. You, and they, everybody, well not everybody, but I got some comments saying the reason it did that is because I pushed it. I didn't do that this time. It still exploded. It's just like anything else, you know, when the steam gets in there a certain way, um, you know, the fillings are going to come out. So um, it's not necessarily because you press down on the, on the crisping sleeve, it causes it to explode because I clearly did not do that this time. So it did it anyway. So you usually have to take something, a fork, a knife or something that kind of go around and get it unstuck from the crisping sleeve and we'll slide it off. So there it is. I want to cut into it. Of course, some of the topping is over there on the side or the, some of the fillings over there on the side, but we'll, we'll see how well it's filled. Yeah, it looks like it's just kind of got on the top there. The bottom is really puffy um, and crispy, which is good. But uh, the filling, yeah, I mean, it's an okay amount of filling, but like I said, some of it, some of it's right here. <laughs> some of the filling's like right there. So uh, I'm gonna let this cool off for a minute. I'll probably cut it into smaller pieces so I can actually just eat it easier, and I'll be back. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try this bite right here. That was a piece on the end, like the one of the rounded off end, the uh, edge pieces. Pretty good. I like the texture of the the um, the puff pastry. I like that texture. Um, the pepperoni actually has a little bit of spice to it, like it's a spicier pepperoni, not like a you know, like burn your mouth off spice, spicy, but it is does have some seasonings there. You can feel it burning your throat just a little bit. Here's one from the center. I really like the flavor of the filling. It's got tons of flavor in it. And the, you can't beat, I've tried a few of these. You can't beat that like layered puff pastry because it gets so crispy and so puffy without being like hard and dense. Because I know like Hot Pockets sometimes, I like Hot Pockets, but the ends of them, where they fold them, the ends of them really get, sometimes they get really dry and hard. Same thing with microwave burritos. A lot of times the microwave burritos, the ends are really, really hard where you can't, you almost have to throw them away. That's literally how, how bad they are. This one, 
They don't get hard, they get crispy. Which is good. I'd much rather have a crispy one than a, kind of like a piece of crispy toast than I would some piece of uh, hard something that's like you can't even eat it. I like this. I like the flavor. I like the texture of the of the the puff part, the pastry. Pepperoni has a really good flavor. The texture overall is really really good. I think it's good. Um, I like the pepperoni one probably better than some of the other ones, but I've liked all of them honestly. I'm gonna give the pepperoni one a four out of five. Would definitely buy this again um, over like um, like I said burritos or hot pockets. I like the puffy pastry part. Now the filling is not as you don't get as much filling as you do in some of the other things like a top i mean a burrito you get a lot of filling in a burrito hot pockets you get a lot of filling in them these you get less filling more pastry but um but i still like them i'm still gonna give it a four out of five so i hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching